Ireland and the All Blacks this weekend. It's the third game, I think, of the uh, Autumn Internationals. It should be a pretty interesting one. We'll go through some squads and stats and predictions, and you guys can let me know your thoughts on how this one's going to go. Uh, certainly, in more recent times, these matchups have been more interesting ever since Ireland's had a couple of wins over the All Blacks. So if you're looking at the last five games, it's uh, it's 3-2. to two. When I was growing up, we didn't lose to Ireland, so a lot has changed. Uh, at least in the terms of the uh, the matchups between these two sides. Makes things more interesting, I reckon. But um, yeah, both sides kind of coming off decent victories. Ireland absolutely walloped Japan uh, last week, 60 points to 5. The All Blacks were a bit disjointed in their 47-9 win over Italy. But they were really slick against Wales, albeit without their premiership guys, the, the Welsh. Um, 54 points to 16. So... Yeah, it's kind of an interesting one because the All Blacks chopping and changing a lot. I mean, prior to that, they had a game against the US as well. But yeah, the All Blacks have kind of been chopping and changing their side, depending on who they are playing. Whereas uh, Ireland, at least for two weeks in a row, have named pretty much uh, the same side. We'll go over the side now. Uh, for Ireland, as I mentioned, there's not much in the way of changes. Uh, the front row is still Porter, Kelleher and Furlong. So Porter's doing that thing on the loose head. Be a good test for him this week up against the All Blacks, but... Pretty sure he'll come out uh, fine based on what we've seen of him so far there. Uh, Ryan and Henderson are the locks. That's the only change with Henderson coming up from the bench and Tygburn dropping down. That's that's literally the only change to the squad. Everything else is uh, steady as she goes. Uh, Kaylin Doris, Josh van der Fleer, and Jack Conan are the back three. Um, I mean, Conan was bloody good last week, wasn't he? He was absolutely tearing it up. He was causing... Proper misery to the Japanese guys getting over the advantage line and yeah, just uh, just being a right a right pain for the Japanese guys. So um, they, they struggled to shut him down. I'm sure the All Blacks would have seen that and they'll be uh, identifying him as a man to watch. Although, um, if I know the All Blacks, they tend to just go in and do their own thing. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's the Ford pack for, for Ireland. Gibson, Park and Sexton is the same 19 combo. So Sexton got his 100th game last week. Uh, 101. For this time but gibson park was uh was sharp last week as well i thought so that they they both ran the show really well aki and ring rose uh is the midfield um aki maybe is gonna try and run at the all blacks midfield they've uh, it's one area the all blacks have changed so i mean the all blacks guys should know him some of them from his time back in new zealand so um yeah hopefully they don't know homework on him because when he's going forward he can be a bit of a handful as well uh conway and low are the wings both real handfuls last week, but it's it's really kind of hard to um, to project that form onto this match against the All Blacks. But, I mean, it's encouraging that they were sharp. And um, Hugo Keenan has been an absolute mainstay for the Irish for this whole year. I don't know if... Has anyone else started at fullback? I don't think so. I think it's pretty much been Hugo Keenan every game. Uh, 20, 2020 was a bunch of chopping and changing between Stockdale and um, uh, Lama and uh, Keenan. But Keenan has been absolutely solid as a rock under the high balls and um, pretty useful on attack as well. So, yeah, that's, that's your Irish pack. Uh, Herring, I should say, actually, tell a lie, does come in on the bench. Um, so that's the other change. But in terms of starting 15, it's just the one. Uh, Healy, Bielham are the two props. Byrne, as I mentioned, dropped down to the bench. Armani, Murray, Carberry, and Earls round out the reserves. Uh, for the All Blacks, they have made a ton of changes from the team that played Italy, but it's more similar to the team that played Wales. So it's Moody, Taylor, and Laulala, which seems to be uh, Fozzie's preference for the front row. Um, Laulala's had his kind of critics in recent times, and Joe Moody does come under pressure at scrum time a wee bit. But uh, yeah, he'll get a good test up against Tyke Furlong. So we'll kind of see where he's really at. But that seems to be Fozzie's preferred front row based on what we've seen from him thus far uh Ritalik and white locks a pretty bloody good lock and duo uh, lots of experience and uh good skills there white lock is captain because there's no sam kane lineup this week black Anna, papali'i and savia is kind of a relatively inexperienced back row i mean savia is the experienced guy um but yeah they um they seem to prefer black Anna and papali'i at the moment papali'i if you irish fans haven't seen him play he's uh, a bit of a defensive powerhouse guy i mean maybe similar to your guy van der Fleer in terms of he gets through a ton of tackles uh and is a bit of a threat at the breakdown as well um black out of those kind of bit of a versatile guy maybe we lack a bit of punch going forward i don't know but we get we get um we get a fair bit of that from from savia as well so we'll kind of see black is a bit of a jack of all trades really 
uh, backs Pirinata and Barrett um, at the 19 combo. That's, I mean, they, they did fly Smith over, so there was some talk about him maybe uh, getting a game, but he is not there uh, at the moment, Aaron Smith. So it's TJ, so him and Bodie know each other pretty well. It's interesting that Bodie gets the nod ahead of Richie. It seems maybe on recent form, Bodie's taken a step ahead. And interestingly, because Richie, uh, Richie is on the bench, he talked about the impact of Richie being on the bench. So maybe that's kind of a bad thing for him if you kind of run yourself to be the uh, the impact guy, which is what Bodhi used to be for years. And Richie seemed to have relegated Bodhi to the, the impact guy for, for some time, but maybe they've kind of switched back. Uh, ALB and Rico is the midfield. That's kind of one of the, the bigger changes. Uh, Rico Iwane uh, is in the midfield. He's got his proper gas back, so the Irish guys will need to be careful because he is lightning quick at the moment since he's fully recovered from an injury here last year. And uh, ALB shifts into 12. So... I'm not sure if that's... They've got Havili on the bench. But it's not quite fired with Havili as the starting guy. Uh, maybe if he plays with Moonga, that kind of makes more sense because they play together at club level. But anyway, that's the midfield. And um, yeah, uh, Fozzie talked about how those guys played while well. they finished off the, the Welsh game together in the midfield. So maybe that's a, a bit of a reward for those guys. Uh, Will Jordan's back. Look out for his magic. That guy's on a hell of a try scoring run. And um, Severi switches to the left wing. Geordie Barrett is certainly the most preferred fullback in New Zealand at the moment. All six foot five of them. And he'll probably do the goal kicking as well. Uh, the bench, Coles to Nkwafi and Lomax. So two of those guys played against Italy. Va'i is also there. Akira Iwane comes in on the bench. So he is your proper ball carrying guy if we need some impact from the bench. Finlay Christie, Richie Maunga and David Hart Billy as well. So... Yeah, uh, both pretty strong looking lineups. I think um, Andy Farrell basically said the side played well last week, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Kind of certain logic to that as well. Um, average score across the last five games is 26-20. So there's not much between these sides, but that uh, Rugby World Cup game in 2019, the quarterfinal, was a pretty brutal one for Ireland. 46 points to 14. And I feel like after losing in, uh, in 2018, the All Blacks essentially kind of modeled themselves to beat Ireland at the World Cup because they thought they might face them, and they did. Uh, and they certainly did beat them, but then they ended up losing the next week to England. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how things go with these two sides having new coaches now. And, um, yeah, we'll go which one gets on top. Um, Stats-wise, the New Zealanders tend to cut teams to bits. Not always, but, I mean, their attacking numbers are phenomenal. But that being said, Ireland's um, defensive numbers are also pretty pretty solid. They, they very seldom get cut to bits. It's a similar story to what we saw uh, with Scotland and Australia's numbers last week, with Scotland generating heaps of chances and um, Australia not conceding many. It ended up being a pretty tight game. This is kind of a similar story where New Zealand generate heaps of attacking ball and uh, the Irish don't give up a lot. So which one gets on top this week? Will be one to see. Um, Ireland love their possession. They love going through their phases in terms of the meters per carry rate. They're pretty low, but um, they tend to grind teams down at times. But then last week, you saw this kind of glorious offload game from the Irish. So which Irish side is going to play this week uh, will also be an interesting one. New Zealand's goal kicking is not great compared to Ireland. So if that's a factor, that's advantage Ireland. But New Zealand will certainly be looking to do it with tries if they can. Um, yeah, predictions wise, the bookies have got New Zealand. Uh, by seven points the rugby forecast algorithm has got new zealand by 10 so not predicted to be a huge blowout but new zealand are predicted to be winners in this one you guys let me know what you reckon do you think it's advantage new zealand or ireland at home are going to be too strong if you're looking for christmas gifts the lions rugby store still getting rid of lions gear so um, nothing kind of says christmas like rugby gear so there you go check that out link in the description for those guys if you want to get some gear, they're an affiliate of the channel. Happy days. But um, yeah, you guys have any thoughts? And I will talk to you again soon. See you later.